Fight number eight about to get underway. The legend Buddy Caskey inside the octagon, reffing it up. We've got Marsala in the black trunks and Batley in the white. A big thank you to Dynamite, doing a dynamite job there in the cage tonight. Always on point. Jesse Marsala looking long and lean. Six foot three versus five foot nine here. Big reach advantage for the Gracie Barra product, Jesse Marsala, as he makes his amateur debut. And man, just look at him. He's got it. Ton of size. Long fella, one fifty five. Yeah, he is. Goodness gracious. Gotta watch for those looping overhands, and they're hard to see when you're when you're so tall. It looks a little stiff. A little bit of loose up there. Trying to get inside the guard there and throw a couple punches. Here's the size. Batley. Big, long, hard knees scoring right up the middle. This is definitely a big one fifty five right here. Jesse he just kneeing what's ever in his way. Right. Yeah, Jesse. Uh, Jesse cut quite a bit of weight for this fight, and I'm willing to bet that the other young man didn't cut much weight. Yeah, he doesn't look like a big uh, 155 guy. And the other guy on the other end, uh, Jesse, looks like a monstrous 155er here. You know, but it's always interesting to see. You know, what does the weight cut do to somebody? You know, as far as their endurance. Jesse falls into the mount position. There we go. Jesse's got a dangerous guard. Already closed up a triangle. Those long legs, that was quick, man. man. That was quick. It's like he's trying to finish it off. He's almost too long here, you know it. Right. No, not long enough. Looks up. It looks like it's going to finish. You never know, though. A lot of times when you're this that looks long, pretty there's tight. just a little bit of space in there, enough to breathe. Jesse has a strange angle here, but he's yeah. so long, it's hard to know whether or not it's working. Batley doing everything he can to try and get he's out of there. Good job. Of that yep. It's not bad. Jesse loses the triangle to get well, right back into it. Say he lost it. Yeah, there you go. He's still got, maybe he'll get a little deeper now. If it's me, I'm looking to catch the This looks extremely left tight. Leg. There he goes, hooking the leg, trying to roll over to a mount position. Credit to Batley here for battling. Jesse needs to go to an arm bar here. This kid's almost like too small for him to triangle. That or he needed to scoot his hips back a little bit, but now it looks like he's out of it. Trying to catch back, he needs to hook that Kamara grip, try and take the back there. He's very comfortable on the ground here, you can tell. And he's got some funk. I mean, yeah. these are positions that we don't, you know, typically we don't spend much time in, and Jesse. And part of that's being so much bigger than your opponent as well, right? Being lanky. Yeah. It's yeah. just those lanky guys, man. They get in the weirdest positions. Well, we talked about it earlier. Guys can do strange things uh, based on their anatomy. And when you're super long like Jesse is, you can do some stuff. Now, here he is taking some punishment. Jesse going back to the triangle. Right. I trained with the black belt over in Atlanta, uh, Eric Moody, man, and he'll, you know, take your back from guard. It's my cousin. Know? Is he? No, I'm just oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, he's one of those guys who'll just, like, all of a sudden he's got your back, and it just yeah. doesn't even make sense. But he's one of those long, lanky guys. Or he's got you in a triangle, typically, is what it ends up in. Well, I think that one has to go to Jesse Marsala. Pretty much in control right there. Had three submission attempts, none of them finished off, but he was certainly the more dominant fighter there in round one. And looking really good here in his AKA debut. I agree, it's about the offense. He was definitely more offensive. Didn't do a whole lot of damage. He was trying to control and keep things calm when it was on the feet, but on the ground, he was definitely methodical. I'm liking the blue hair there. I don't know what that's about, but I'm digging it. You should have done that for this thing. Right, yeah. I got a face for radio though, that's the thing. They only, they, only, they only want my voice. You know, as far as, uh, you know, I would say there, Jesse Clark, a lot of more of the same, trying to, he was obviously more dominant on the ground. Um, you know, we're looking here for Stephen Batley to try and land something on the feet. See if Batley comes out here throwing hands, being a little more protective of his hips this time. So likely 1-0 after the first round right there in favor of Marsalia. Oh, we. Those legs go <laughs> oh, man. But a good job there once again by Batley, you know, getting inside. 
I just don't see that being to his advantage, yeah. though, you know, as far as the ground game of Marsalia going. I just don't know that he's got any advantage here, just to be completely honest with you. You know, yeah. We'll find out. Again, Jesse almost pulling guard and sub succeeding to his back here. I, it's He's got a tricky guard, and I like it, but not smart. And here this kid is on top of him here early in the second yeah. round. For the rule set of MMA, it's not it's not advantageous to go to your back, unless you're like a Damian Lai. If you have that much confidence in your ground game, you know, go to your back. You know, in the last round, he, he went to his back and he ended up finishing on top. Um, but still not a strategy that I would employ myself. I'm not a jiu-jitsu guy, though. I'm all about, you know, throwing bones. Again, triangle position here for Jesse, and he's he's almost just too big to finish this kid. He needs to get his hips back. He needs to grab, put his hands, get his hips back, and extend Batley just a little bit to try know. and get it. On that top. one's in there, maybe. No. If he can get his hips back, switch to the armbar, maybe. Okay, here he is using it to try and, oh, is he going to use it? It feels like this will be a disappointment if he doesn't win this fight by trying. <laughs> right, yeah, but how do you judge this? Because as a fighter, you know, he's got top position, so he's dominant technically, but uh, this isn't dominant, you know no, what I mean? You're, you're at a threat of being submitted the entire time. And if this was a pro match right here, you'd be looking at Clark dropping elbow after elbow on the head of Bentley. Um, you know, that's the difference in the amateurs and the pros. Right there in that position, you do not need the triangle choke. All you need is punishment in a professional fight. Exchanging punches there from very weird angles. Hey, that's what he needs to do, just sit there you and know, do damage. I'm not mad at it because, <laughs> no. I mean, if we're going to be in the spot, Jesse might as well score punches. And, and I would say Buddy Kasky should think about finishing this, uh, think about stopping this fight. I mean, this kid's not defending himself intelligently, taking a lot of unanswered punches right now. Yeah. But I mean, I'm telling you, my two my two year olds hit me harder. You know? Oh, oh, there he goes. And then we got the tap. That's what we yeah. wanted right there. It was only a matter of time. Nice finish by Jesse. Jesse awesome. Marsala. Impressive stuff right there. He continued to work for submission after submission. Finally comes away with the armbar. And that's the thing. Like if you look at the old Gracie fights with uh, Boyce Gracie and those guys, they're on the ground. They're constantly striking you. They're constantly doing things, but they're not necessarily doing it to hurt you. They're doing it to set their submissions up. Just like that, he kept pitter pat hitting over and over again. He gave up the arm bar. Danger, Jesse seemed intent on finishing this fight by submission, and ultimately that's exactly what he does. Yeah, uh, a kid with a really tricky guard, he's just gotta be careful with this stuff moving forward. And when you end up underneath somebody, especially a guy that can really thump from the top, it's not it's not as fun a game, just you know. A wrestler. And, uh, proud of Jesse though. Way way to go in there and get your first victory. Yeah, you go against a solid wrestler, you know that you might end up in trouble with that strategy. But tonight it did pay off. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stoppage to the action at two minutes thirty two seconds in round number two, declaring your winner Jesse Marsala. Jesse Marsala picking up his first win here with American Combat Alliance. Big win for the six foot three, 155 pounder.